Hey guys, it's Rain. So for these earrings, I'm gonna be using some porcelain clay. This is the kind of clay that hardens with air, so you don't have to bake it. But you can use polymer clay as well. These are the two brands that I have worked with and you get pretty much the same results. I'm going to be rolling some clay using this mat. This is like my working space mat. And I'm gonna be rolling this with that roller that has like those two green rings on each side so that my clay is even. I'm gonna be using a decorating tool for baking, my Wilton 1M. Just gonna cut two circles and let them dry. If you're working with polymer clay, this is when you bake them. Once they are dry, I'm gonna be making it like some handles at the back of them just with some tape. Pretty much just making a grabber so I can just grab them and paint them. And to paint them, I'll use this acrylic paint. And I tend to paint with eyeshadow brushes. The bristles are softer, giving them a couple of coats. Grabbing my ruler, pencil, and I'm gonna be marking every half centimeter and then just marking lines across based on like those marks that I did before, like mini notebooks. Then I'll use my black acrylic paint, my delicate brush, and I'm gonna be painting every other line. You know, just being real careful and just taking my time, especially in the edges. But if you make a mistake, don't worry, you can take a Q-tip with some acetone on it and then just pretty much erase your mistake. And I went with the same brush and the same uh, acrylic paint just to perfect the lines. Not even perfect them because I don't want this to be perfect, but you know, smooth the lines if they were crooked or just they looked uneven. Finally, I'm gonna be adding some gloss and I'm using the one by Sculpey and my brush again, giving this two to three coats. But if you can work with an epoxy resin, I think it looks much better. I'm gonna be using a really thin chain, a silver one, and I'm gonna be cutting two equal parts with my cutters, pretty much depending on how long you want your earrings to be. So this is pretty much personal preference. I'm gonna be using a couple of ear wires. First, removing my tape. I'm done with that part. Just making sure that my lines are straight and then just flip this upside down, glue the whole thing. You wanna make sure that the lines are straight though because you want your lines to be straight when you're wearing your earrings so just keep that in mind i'm going to be using my super glue gluing the chain like this then just placing my ear wire in there i did the other one before just for a reference and just because i want them both even so i'm just going to be hanging them on toothpick basing myself on how i glued the other one before i'm still holding the chain and once i figure out when they look even without letting my chain go i'm just going to glue it taking the chain out of my way placing my glue and then just putting the shame back in there covering the back with black paint and just being really careful towards the edges but yeah this is what this ones look like delicate and dainty just kidding they are pretty much the opposite they are quite statement but like an easy to wear statement if that makes sense because it's black and white stripes and i think that goes with everything obviously you can wear them with everything but i just prefer to wear them when i'm like wearing plain clothes more basic stuff or just less statement clothing and then just make them pop they are really to make pretty lightweight and i think they look so much fun it's like a fun funky statement pair and i really hope you like them too if so don't forget to give this a thumbs up check out more earrings that i have on my shelf subscribe for more and share this thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye